So the talk will cover both. So the meaning of covered brain infarctions in patients with manifest stroke. This is the second part and shorter part. And the first part will be about an incidental finding. So you do an MRI for headache, but then you discover that there is additional um, chronic post ischemic lesions. The, um, but the patient had no st uh, prior stroke symptoms and there is really no reliable guideline. Should you do the same workup as for manifest stroke in such patients? Uh, should you do rhythm monitoring and our hypothesis is that there's eloquent brain areas, there's non-eloquent brain areas. It's pretty random, actually, where ischemia takes place. So if you have an uh, embolus from the heart, it's pretty random where it ends up in an eloquent or non-eloquent area. But we think the risk factors are very similar and therefore workup makes sense. Uh, but you really need to take into account, is this a small vessel uh, disease phenotype or is it potentially embolic? And for potentially embolic phenotypes, we suggest also to do workup for proximal embolic sources.